All right, everyone, today I'm making this video to show my newest project that I'm doing. So I'm going to be building my first rifle uh, straight from the from kind of from the top down, kind of upper first, then lower. And so I finally got all the upper parts that I needed. And so I just want to go through the ones that I got and just prior to me putting it together. All right, so first we're going to start off. And it's going to be in like an FDE brown color. And I'll show you why it's not going to be all FDE in a second. So I have the upper, uh, Arrow Precisions uh, the AR-15. They're in FDE. Their upper receiver completed. Um, looks pretty nice. Feels nice. Really enjoyable. Really looks good. Oh, and also I got these all on sale and also with my veteran discount. So... Uh, I'll be making a video after everything is set up with the upper on what I paid for it versus MSRP. Alright, so that'll come a little bit later, probably at the end of the week or after I get some range time. But so first let's go what I got for to go with this. Alright, so most of it's from Arrow Precision and some other parts that I really wanted. Okay, so first you have the upper. Well, what's going to go with the upper? Let's go with the barrel. I have... The Ballistic Advantage 18-inch um, SPR barrel. This is what this is going to be. This is going to be like my precision rifle. It's going to be an SPR build. And so, got some grease on it. So, I got their SPR barrel, 18-inch. Uh, it's uh, it's kind of heavy, I'm not going to lie, but this isn't meant to be a lightweight build, so it's okay. All right, so 18-inch barrel. And I have the Aero Precision uh, Gamma, VG6 Gamma for for the muzzle brake so got that a good deal very good deals on all of these so there's the barrel for the BCG I have the Aero Precision Black Nitride the one that comes in Black Nitride not Phosphate Black Nitride so apparently just Black Nitride helps with lubricity better longer life just really good great setup and it's made by Aero good stuff all right uh, Feels pretty good, looks really good. Kind of really like that A. So, I'm going to be using that. Put that over there. For just. And here are my favorite parts that are going to be coming up. So, for the charging handle, the Geisley Super Charging Handle in the Desert Dirt Sand color, I believe. Um, these are really good looking parts. And ambidextrous, I love ambidextrous. If you're going to get charging handles from that, like for me, I only like hard. Uh, ambidextrous ones after using the Raptor so these are really good look good uh, that's a good looking charging handle alright so look at that it's beautiful and so if you and so if you can tell now we're missing the handguard well where's the handguard I went with this the Geisley Mark 4 15 inch in desert their desert sand color uh, I went this one since it's an SPR build, so it's got the integrated rail sections in the front it's for a bipod, so I'm going to put that there. not really sure if I would put anything on the sides, but it's nice to know that I have that because I don't really plan on using much in the back over here. So that's basically going to be it. Alright, looks really good, feels really good, and I can't wait to throw this on. And, and the good thing about, cool thing about these is that they come with a gas block. So I'm going to grab that. Geisley Super Gas Block. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus. Damn it. Yeah. Well, it's got like the nice Geisley G on there. And I already put the pin in because that's always uh, pinned the uh, gas tube in there because that's always the big pain in the ass when doing these. So that's already set up. It's going to be a rifle length gas system. This is their like bomb proof kind of style, they say. I'm not going to put that pin through there because one, I don't know how and I don't want to risk it. So I have these. So it's all set up. Uh, I'm also going to be using a Aero Precision one-inch mount, a scope mount, and kind of to test it out, I ordered a Leupold Air Mod Mod three by nine. So hopefully that'll get here in the mail on Tuesday, and I'll make a video with that installed later on. Okay, but this is what I have so far. Uh, this is it for so for right now for the upper. I'll build the lower and the rest of the rifle later on in the year uh, after I save up some money and 
test out how good this works by itself. Okay, because the lower I have it right now, my Smith & Wesson is really nice, and it's got the Geisley trigger, SD3G trigger, so it'll make shooting really nice. Um, also, just a little bit of something I'm doing, um, just because my other rifle, my Smith & Wesson, is now going to be made into uh, be a just straight up uh, home defense, short, short range rifle, like CQB style rifle. Uh, I'm going to be selling my my uh, G33, the switch to side mount magnifier, that my Eotech. So I'm going to be selling it. So if anybody would be interested, uh, I already have it on auction on eBay. Uh, the, currently, the bid is at someone's already bid it at 330. Um, it's going to go on for a couple more days, so if you'd be interested in this, give that a look. I have it on sale. Uh, just look for the one selling out of California, and that's me. Uh, so, you know, just get some more funds to build, to complete this build. Uh, just a little something. Works great. It's in great condition. I have a nice little picture set up on there, if you'd be interested in that. But that's enough about that. Just a little something. Alright, so, here it is. Uh, I'll make a video, follow-up video for when I get this all put together and when I got the scope on there so that you can all get a good look and we'll see. Hopefully I'll get this out to the range real soon. Alright, have a good one.